Hello everyone, so welcome to this little video where we are going to talk a little bit about the different lobes of the brain. We will also talk about the main fissures and the sulci which split up the brain into its different lobes. So uh, let's first orientate uh, the pictures of the prosections which we're looking at. And this sounds pretty simple, but whenever you look at any prosection, your first job is to orientate the prosection. Uh, so uh, if you look over here, we're basically uh, looking at the, supi, uh, the suprolateral or the lateral view of the cerebral cortex. And uh, if you look at the right over here, this is basically a midline sagittal section taken through the center of the brain. So consequently, you're looking at half of the brain over here. And we're looking at the medial or the inside surface of the cerebral cortex. You can see uh, you can see the cerebral cortex at the top and you can see the brainstem, you know, kind of hanging down over here with the cerebellum at the back. So the, the, this, this cerebellum at the back kind of gives you a clue as well that, you know, what this would be the posterior side of the brain and that would be the anterior side. Similarly, we can see the cerebellum here as well at the back end. So this would be the posterior side and that would be the anterior end of the brain. Remember, we're looking at the superior, uh, the suprolateral view of the cerebral cortex over here. Here, and we're looking at the left cerebral cortex and here we're looking at the medial view of the left cerebral cortex this is a midline sagittal section so obviously the right hemisphere has been taken off uh, so now that we have orientated the pro section let's just talk about the different lobes of the brain so there are uh, you probably might be aware uh, of this much by now that the brain has four different lobes uh, in it uh, the cerebral cortex has four different lobes. What are those lobes? Well, the one in the front over here, this is the frontal lobe, and that is primarily motor in function. Uh, then at the back over here, at the back end, we can see a lobe called the occipital lobe, which is primarily concerned with the vision. Uh, so it is primarily sensory as well. And then we've got a lobe here called the parietal lobe, which is once again sensory mainly. Uh, then if you go down over here, we can see the temporal lobe, which has different functions. Some of the functions, uh, important functions could be uh, the taste uh, and the hearing uh, functions, which are uh, eventually perceived over here. Uh, so uh, that's, that's a little bit about the lobes of the brain. We can see the same lobes over here as well. See, this is a medial side. So we're looking at the back end of the brain, this being the occipital lobe, the temporal lobe being down below over here, frontal in the front and, you know, parietal uh, somewhere over here at the top. Uh, now, let's just talk about some of the, some of, uh, the, about the two main fissures or the sulci in the brain, which are the lateral sulcus and the central sulcus. And the reason why I'm actually talking about those two sulci here is because with the help of those, we're going to mark out the boundaries between the four different lobes of the brain. So let's identify the sulci first, and then we'll be able to find out the, uh, the exact extent of those different lobes of the brain. Uh, so starting with the central, starting with the lateral sulcus, let's start with the lateral sulcus. We're once again looking at the lateral view of cerebral cortex, and you can see uh, a sulcus over here uh, between the temporal lobe down below and the frontal lobe at the top. Uh, that is basically the, the beginning of the lateral sulcus. In fact, the lateral sulcus uh, basically it has, has a main stem to it, and then it splits up into its different uh, rami or branches when it comes to the superior view. The stem is more or less at the base of the brain, which you probably cannot appreciate because you'll have to look at the brain from the inferior side. And here we're looking at the lateral view, not the inferior side. Uh, but you can probably imagine that the on the inferior surface, the stem would be starting somewhere from the from the center and uh, close to the center, and then moving laterally or outside towards you, which means outside uh, out of the screen. Uh, that would be the stem of the lateral sulcus, separating the temporal lobe down below from the frontal at the top, and then it splits up into three different rami. And what are those three different rami? Well, the first branch or the ramus would be the anterior horizontal ramus, which is this little over uh, this this uh, deep sulcus over here, right? Then the other ramus would be the anterior ascending ramus, right? 
and then the lateral sulcus basically continues uh, posteriorly here as the posterior ramus, which is like the main continuation of the sulcus. Now, consequently, because of these three different rami, uh, the, the, the cortex, cortex gets split up into different parts, and we've got different names for those parts as well. For example, this is the anterior uh, horizontal ramus, so anything beneath that would be the pars orbitalis. Uh, then in between the uh, anterior horizontal and the uh, ascending ramus, the anterior ascending ramus, we've got a triangular zone, zone of cerebral cortex here. This is pars triangularis. And then behind the uh, anterior ascending and above the, uh, the posterior ramus, this region would be the pars opercularis. Uh, so, I mean, that, that, that's the lateral sulcus, and we can see how now we can demarcate a boundary between the temporal lobe down below and the frontal and the parietal lobes at the top. Now, let's see how we can separate the frontal from the parietal lobes, right? and for that, we need to understand a sulcus called the central sulcus, right? So, now, if you just look at uh, the lateral uh, surface of the cerebral cortex, you can just, by a cursory look at the surface, you can appreciate three relatively longer uh, sulci running all along the length of the uh, cerebral cortex on the lateral surface, starting from the top over here, then extending down all the way down, uh, almost to the lateral sulcus. And you can see a, a, a sulcus here in the center, and then another one here in front of it, almost parallel to it, and then uh, another one parallel to it, but behind it, that uh, so so we can primarily see three sulci and you know once you appreciate these three sulci uh, you know identification is basically relative to each other so the one in the central would be the central sulcus the one in the front would be the pre-central sulcus and the one behind would be the post central sulcus let me just let me just highlight one important thing over here that you know don't expect all the sulci to be a continuous entity all the time there could be uh, some uh, disruptions along the course of the sulci, but you can still appreciate uh, more or less a continuous structure over here. Uh, so these would be the pre-central, central, and post-central sulcus. Now the central sulcus. Uh, uh, so let's 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 just finish up the sulci. So let's just finish up the central sulcus. Now we're looking at it uh, on the on the lateral view, but see if we go on to the medial uh, view, which means the inner side of the cerebral cortex. See the central sulcus that extends onto the medial side as well, and we can see that little bit of an extension of the central sulcus here, which ends here at this point where it is clasped by a u-shaped gyrus which is the which is called the paracentral lobule uh, so you know the central sulcus partly extends onto the medial side as well but it's mainly on the lateral side uh, so now this central sulcus is the boundary between the frontal lobe in the front and the parietal lobe at the back right the precentral sulcus is part of the frontal lobe post central sulcus is part of the parietal lobe central is the separation between the frontal and the parietal lobes right so now to summarize uh, in this video therefore we now have discussed the four different lobes of the brain frontal parietal occipital and temporal their main functions and we uh, have discussed a little bit about the boundaries between uh, the different lobes of the brain